everybody else who might be watching this video. My name is Kendi Edmonds and I'm so excited to be speaking with you guys today. I am actually the head teacher at Chameleon Academy of Communication and Civility. We are so excited to be partner with Girl Scouts of Greater Chicago and Northwest Indiana. Let me tell you a little bit about Chameleon Academy before we get started with today's video. Chameleon Academy is a training institution that offers classes that teach people how to maintain poise and self-confidence and everything they do. We teach you how to adapt, transform, and succeed in whatever you may be pursuing in your life. We offer a variety of classes for children, adolescents, as well as adults. And specifically for Girl Scouts, we have a Manners 101 training that can help Girl Scouts work towards their social butterfly batch. So if you're interested in learning more about us, go to www.chameleonacademycc.com. You can also call us at 312-319-4040. You can shoot us an email at info at chameleonacademycc.com or find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash chameleonacademycc. Okay, so I'm super excited to jump into today's video. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to set a table, how to properly set a table, for a cookout. June is almost here, summer is upon us, and so there should be plenty of cookouts. And now with this newfound knowledge, after you watch the video, you can impress your friends and family and let them know that you know how to properly set a table for a cookout, all right? So we got a little twist on today's cookout theme. We're gonna do a themed cookout, and today's theme is actually an island theme, all right? So, I'm excited to teach you guys. I hope you guys are excited to learn. So what's next? I guess you just need to meet me at the table. All right, let's go. See you there. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Kendi again with Chameleon Academy of Communication Civility. I told you I'd join you at the table. Thank you so much for joining me. As I said in the intro video, I am going to teach you how to properly set a table for an island theme. You can see that's what we're working with here is an island theme. Um, for this particular video, you'll see a lot of island theme decor. Now, um, you can get this from anywhere. You really can. You can just go to Amazon. Amazon has everything, as they say, from A to Z. You can also go to Walmart. Party City is always a great place to go to to get island theme decor, any type of thing. They have a ton of party things you can choose from. But like I said, I'm doing the island thing to get today. So, before we get started on how to properly set a table, first thing I wanna talk about is how you can make your table just a little bit more functional, okay? Now, this particular setup is probably for a smaller party, a very a smaller place setting. Um, once I talk in more detail, you'll see that there's other options for you as well too. So the first thing I wanna to touch on is a centerpiece. It's always great to have a centerpiece on your table. One, it provides a focal point. Also, you can surround your condiments around the centerpiece as well, and they'll be easy accessible to anyone who sit at the table. Now, if you have a large cookout, then you might wanna have a table off by itself with all the food on as well as the condiments. People can just bring it back to the table. But for a smaller cookout, this is okay to have the ketchup and the mustard around the centerpiece and the salt and pepper just placed around the centerpiece. Also, with the appetizers, smaller cookout, okay to have the appetizers just placed right around the centerpiece as well. And they can be passed back and forth. We have here a little bit of fruit and some tongs just for sanitary purposes, okay? Now, let's get into how to properly set the table. Setting the table for a cookout is super easy. It isn't intricate at all. Anybody can do it. This is the proper way to set a table. You'll see here we have the fork on the left. The fork needs to always be on the left-hand side, all right? We also have our knife right here on the right, and the ribs of the knife always should face left as well. Now, I always recommend for a cookout to use plastic utensils as well as paper plates. So plastic utensils, plastic silverware, paper plates, just for easy cleanup. You see have a island thing tablecloth here. This is for easy cleanup as well too. You just fold it up and throw it away. Paper plates come in handy. And you'll see on top of this paper plate, there's a napkin. And so that could be, I guess, a lemon slice or a pineapple slice, whichever. Um, napkins always go in the center of the plate. Now, 
in other settings, you may use a napkin ring, but at a cookout, it's very informal. So you really just need to do this. You wanna make sure that things are functional and easily accessible for your guests to so just go ahead and dig in and eat their hot dogs. A lot of finger foods at, at cookouts as well. You just want them to be comfortable. Now, the last part of this place setting happens to be the cup. We have an island theme piece of drinkware here. And the cup always goes to the right of the place setting. Okay, so make sure that that's right directly at the right of the place setting. Have your fork on the left, your knife on the right, your napkin in the center of the plate, and then you're good to go. Okay, so you really don't need to do anything more than this. Go ahead, use this at your cookout this summer and impress your friends and your family and take the initiative to go ahead and set up the table. So once again, if you guys have any questions for me, I am a certified etiquette consultant and communication strategist. Feel free to contact me at chameleonacademycc.com. In the meanwhile, I thank you so much for your time. I hope you guys have a great summer and you have a blast at your cookouts. Take care. Goodbye.